What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's Dre and Nicole. And we are back with another episode of Wine Down Wednesday. Hey. So first off, I know y'all are like, what's going on with this lighting? Everything kind of messed up right now. What's going on everything? Drea just moved in her brand new apartment today. So we are excited about that. So she's been moving stuff all day. We haven't got, cause she, look, mama moved on up. She got a two bedroom. So <laughs> we're about to transform that second room into, into a, studio. a studio where we're going to be filming everything. Yes. So just, we're just, super excited. Yes. Cause once we finish it, y'all know, y'all going to see it first. So grab y'all one and we about to get lit. So first things first, y'all know we have to talk about your brother future. <laughs> so let me give y'all a little background for y'all who don't know what happened. Yeah, because she had to give me the background because I didn't really know what was going on. I just seen all the beans and shit. So basically, baby girl, I don't know who she is, had posted on Facebook. She was like, y'all, let me tell y'all about y'all favorite rapper future. So I don't know how she said it word for word, but I'll give y'all the roundup. So basically, I guess she had met Future in like March of this year. They had been texting, texting, whatever. So he finally decided to fly her out to wherever he was. He told her, let me just count through baby girl's mistakes here. He told her, okay, well get your flight and I'ma pay you back. First of all, big mistake, cash out. Can you cash out me the money? Future, we know you got cash app. If you ain't got cash app, you got PayPal. If you ain't got PayPal, oh, let me send you my routing number and my bank account number and you can just deposit. And you have enough assistance around you. Who can do it for you if you, you don't have to book your whole flight in the past. Cause baby, we ain't gonna go there. I wish, <laughs> I wish a millionaire would tell That's me I'm gonna say, pay you like, back. Mm -mm. Right. Nigga tell you to book anything and he gonna pay you back. He really, if he say he gonna pay you back, he really don't want that cat. Okay. <laughs> Says she spent $550 on a flight. So, okay, whatever. He had set her a hotel room up, right? Baby girl gets to the hotel room, everything cool. So she starts like texting him and he was like, oh, what you got on? What you wearing? Like, bitch, you know what time it is? You know what time it is? So she started hitting him up like, Oh, it ain't even like that. Like, she was like, I thought we was gonna go to the studio and chill and hang out. I thought we were just friends. Let me, like, all you ladies out there, if y'all are watching this, See, the future, future, Rich the Kid, right. Young Thug, if any of them niggas hit you up, they are not trying to be your friend. Period. Especially if they fly you out. Even if they get you your own hotel room, they just trying to be accommodating. But the, he want their pussy to be for the taking. That's what I'm telling y'all. Like, oh, you should have known before you got flown. Exactly. You should have known. Like, you really should have known. They was texting and she was like, oh, so are you still going to see me? And that's where the memes came from when he was like, I'm good, love. The whole situation was just embarrassing. Future, I feel like... So basically, he should've, he should've, I mean, he should have but he ain't, completely, he ain't completely whole, but, I guess. Yeah, he did, because oh, baby girl, she didn't ever get her flight money No, back. she didn't get her flight money back, and apparently she go, she went to go get some food, and she came back, and her hotel key wasn't working. <gasps> no. I see, y'all was about to say, at least he let her keep the hotel. No, baby girl had went to get some food, and she came back, and her key wasn't working. She shouldn't have lived. <laughs> she should have ordered room service. So basically, the moral of the story is, don't Future fly you out unless he already paid for your flight. Future, we don't trust your asses. We already know you ain't shit. Mm. It's kind of like, yeah, like what was you expecting to happen? It's future. You, you this is a multi-millionaire nigga. You think he, he can have any bitch that he want. He can fuck with any, and when I say anybody, he can fuck with anybody that he want. So it's like, if he chose to fly you out, you should have known what the fuck was going on. So, Ma, you get the dummy of the week because you out of line. I'm sorry, sister. And then y'all know I love my queens, but let this be a lesson to y'all. Yes. Unless you trying to fuck, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, so next, I just want to talk about this because this had made me so mad, y'all. This had made me so mad. So I don't know if y'all know who Antonio Brown is. He's some NFL player, but he was the one in who Drake. Like for? I don't know, but he was the one that was in Drake's video for um. What was the one when he was passing out the money? God's plan. Okay. That was in the mall dancing. 
him. That's Antonio Brown. Mm -hmm. So basically, he posted a picture of his baby mama on his Instagram and was like, if y'all know who this is, can y'all tell her instead of chasing me around, she needs to take care of her other two kids that aren't mine. She's so busy, worried about me and what my child are doing and blah, blah, blah. Basically saying she in his pockets asking him for money and she don't even take care of her other two kids. Mm -hmm. Her other two kids are older, first of all. This is my thing. Now, I'm not saying that she's not a dead me mom and I'm not taking up for her. But this is to all the men out there, men with money, the athletes, the rappers, and all this stuff that impregnate these women, and they be like, she's trying to get my check. What did uh, you think? What did you think? These niggas be fool guys. You, you, you're dumb. Now you wanna talk about who she is as a character and who she is as a person, but that says a lot about you as a person. You decided to lay down with this woman and have a baby. You didn't want to use protection. That's what I'm saying, and that's what kills me about these niggas, bro. Like, niggas get so mad when they end up getting certain females pregnant, or they be like, oh, she a sack chaser. After, like, once the baby is here, they like, oh, she a sack chaser. She just want me for my money. But it's like, if you didn't like her like that, and this is what you always thought about her, why lay down with her and have such an intimate moment with somebody and not use a condom? I just look at it like this. Like niggas, that just, that's the type of shit that just be making me feel like these niggas is so trash, bro. They, they are so trash. Nasty. They are nasty. And they, they trifling. This is how I feel about it. If you don't want her to be your lady, don't let her have your baby. Okay? Because you niggas ain't shit. But hoes Like, tricks. come on now. Like, we learned this when we were adolescent. Right. If you have sex without a condom, niggas always be like, but I pulled out though. You say condom. You about the baby but there's diseases out there like you just and I'm not saying his situation in particular right. I'm just saying I didn't like how he tried to put her on blast because you chose her at the end of the day I, accidents happen not if you wrap it up yep not if you wrap you it up you chose her because yeah you, you said her. accidents happen but I'm sure it's probably like 15 other women you or probably 50 because he asked <laughs> It's probably like 50 other bitches you had sex with that year too when you used the condom, but you didn't use no condom with baby girl. Right. And that's why she had your baby girl. And she chasing after you because you probably the only baby daddy with a check. Y'all have to be more careful. Y'all gotta be more careful. When you know when you know better, you do better. Hi! Next thing I wanna talk about. This was a rage that everybody was talking about. So I'm gonna ask you this because okay. I know how I feel about it. So they were basically saying, um, if you want to date a guy, y'all should go on a pre-date, and the pre-date decides if y'all are gonna go on a real date because guys feel like they don't want to waste their money anymore. So I need to get to make sure that we connect before I take you out to dinner, so we can meet in the park. You can come to my house. I can come to your house, but we have to hang out. A pre-date before we actually go on a date. If you First time that chick, <laughs> we don't connect. <laughs> date? What the fuck is that? Like I don't, I don't want to go. Oh no, this is why I'm not going on a pre-date because by the, the just the simple fact that you want me to go on a pre-date and you're asking me to go on a pre-date with you, so you want to see if I'm worthy of you spending your money on me. Then let me know you ain't got enough money. Ooh. The fellas about to kill me for this. They about to kill me. They you know they right. You know they about to go in on me. <laughs> but this is the thing. I'm not saying that you broke, but maybe you don't have enough money to be dating. And maybe you don't be having a, maybe you don't have enough money to date women of a certain caliber who expect certain things from the people that they date. And that's how I feel. You know what I mean? Like so. they were saying basically though, like some guys were saying, oh, but if I'm investing my money and my time I'm sorry, but if you look at it as a, a date as an investment, like what is you don't spending, need to be dating. I'm not trying to be funny, but what is seventy five hundred dollars on a few drinks and some hookah? Cause we go out on our own and spend seventy five dollars, a hundred dollars between us on right. and drink. Like you know that I mean? to me, I just don't feel like that's a big serious deal. And I'm the type of person like this. If I ask you to hang out with me, if I'm like, oh hey, let's go do this, I would be expecting to pay. Now, I get enough people asking me out to where, fortunately, I don't, you don't ever have to pay. <laughs> I don't ever have to pay. Right. <laughs> I don't want to toot my own horn, but doo -doo. <laughs> But anyways, but what I'm saying is you can't be inviting women women out and be trying to give them the be cheap and giving them the bare minimum. Now, see, that's the problem with you niggas. Priest sister. That's the fucking problem with y'all. Y'all 
y'all be wanting to court people and wanting to fuck with people and then when they finally give y'all asses the chance and fuck with y'all, y'all wanna do the fucking bare minimum. If you wanna date somebody and you trying to get at this girl and it's somebody who you been wanting for a long time, you should want to impress them. Not even that, but why can't we just go party? have a good time? People are like, oh, you don't have to spend money to have a good time. It's 2018. What we, and that, what we gonna do for free? Cause we ain't chilling in my house. I don't need you knowing where I stay. No, I don't know you I'm not coming to your house neither because it been so much shit going on in the media and in the news with all these different women getting raped and molested and, there's and, a sexually, a killer. and sexually assaulted. Like, I'm not coming to your house neither if I don't know you like this. So what can we do for free? Because everywhere else that we gonna go besides they trying to, I'll tell you what they trying to do for free, fuck. They trying to go on these pre-dates so they trying to see if they can come over with their little $2 bottle of wine, see if they can get you drunk so they can fuck. That's and what see, they want. And see, some of y'all queens is like like to call y'all BDTF. And that's the problem. Do not fuck on these pre dates. And that's the problem. Okay, so I'll say this the ladies who agree with the pre dates, because we don't, I'm no, not going on a pre date. But if you do agree to a pre date, do not give that nigga no pussy on the pre date. You better say that shit, mama. I get passionate. I don't want y'all. I don't want y'all to up y'all pussy to these peon ass niggas, for real. Like, Come on, Queen, put that shit on live. Put that shit on clank clank. But once you do meet that real nigga, oh my, <laughs> you been stretching since. <laughs> so we went to um, a live show the other day, uh, Horrible Decisions Podcast. Shout out yeah. to y'all. We had, we had such a great a good, time. We had such a good time. Yeah, Shout out to Mandy and her uh, co-host Weezy. Yeah. So much fun. So they were talking about so, okay, let me first of all say this. Me and Drea, we talk about literally everything. Oh my God. If you're a guy and you're watching this and you've been intimate with her or me, we've definitely talked about it. We definitely, <laughs> yeah, we probably have definitely talked about it. But, about you. so we, me and Drea over here, we talk a lot and she's like, we thought we was freaks and we probably Oh my was. God, y'all. But baby, we are amateurs. Like it's levels to this shit. It like is. it's like level one to level 10. Me and Lex probably a good, Level five, level. I think six. I'm a, I think I'm a level six above you though. Cause remember when we talked about that thing? Okay, so she level six. <laughs> I'm level five, but it's uh, ten levels. It's ten levels, and we got four more to but go. I, I, I used to think I was like level eight. I and you too. was like level nine. I did too. So basically, what happened was there's something that uh, this new thing called pegging. I don't know if it's new, but it was new to us. So if you don't know what pegging is, things are about to get graphic. So if you at work, turn the volume down a little bit. Or if you a freak, turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, pegging is when the woman puts on the strap on and gives it to her man. Yeah. Right in the kisser. Would you do right it? Right in the steam. Would you do it? So I will say this. I am a person who I will try anything once. Most things I will try once. It's a lot of things I haven't tried, but I'm willing to try them with the right person. Right. Pegging, I think I would try it. Right. Just to try it. But I wouldn't do it with no nigga that I really fuck with. Me, exactly. You said exactly. I would do it with a nigga who I don't take serious, who right. I just want to do it, and then I can let come me, and tell Lex about it. Like, bitch, let me tell you what happened. Let me explain to you what pegging is for somebody to start smoking weed. Then they start looking for a bigger high and they want some crack. So you keep fucking your nigga with that little ass. ass. He gonna go for somebody with a real dick. A bigger dick than what you got. Exactly, a real one. That's how it I ain't plastic. plastic. That's just like the- Cause he gonna get tired of the plastic. He dick. is. And, and at some point he gonna want the dick. He gonna, gonna nut in his boot. <laughs> <laughs> so for Peggy, I would definitely try it. Why not? But I think I would try it. I not with my boyfriend. Do that make us sound like some free? No. For their sexuality. I would definitely. Sex is healthy and with the right person it can be fun. It's not nothing like, oh my God. Like, it's not, it's just, it's, it's not. Forever. I feel like that's the problem. So many people are so cliche about it. Like, like I said, now don't get me wrong. I'm not that sexually free to the point that yeah. I feel like, oh, if my man that I'm in a relationship with came to me and he's like, oh yeah, like, I want you to, you know, hit me from the back with a strap on. Break up with that nigga that same day. I probably would. If that's my nigga, I probably would. You know what I mean? Because I ain't cool 
cool with that if that's my man. Especially being in Atlanta. Especially being in Atlanta. <laughs> but also, since this is Atlanta, if I went on a date with a nigga and he said that that's what he liked and he wanted me to do it, I might do it. Because you gotta think about it like this. Just because me and a nigga go on a date and he asked me to do something like that to him, I ain't gotta fuck you. So that's not a body. <laughs> Okay, I kind of want to try that shit. And don't have somebody. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I want to try it, but I would never let that nigga fuck. Right, that's weird. Yeah, I, I would want to do it to him, but I wouldn't let him. Cause fuck. I would look at you like you a little punk. Yeah, I would look at you like you was, <laughs> you was moaning and screaming my name, and you was tooting and, and throwing that thing back. I ain't throw it back on you now. You was just throwing it back on me. You did a better job than me. Because I do want to address this too Because I did notice when we were at the live show A lot of the women were saying Like okay what's wrong with you ladies that think it's something wrong with doing it You know what I mean Like you're not sexually liberated enough Because You know what I mean Like you're judging your man for that So I will say to a certain extent I am still judgy And I'm able to own it Right. Well I don't say I don't take it as me being judgy I just feel like everybody judgy though. But no I feel like everybody has their preferences Now I don't look at you like Ugh. I just look at you like that's not what I like in my man. I don't look at you like you're gross. So you cool me. with him tooting it and booting it? Yeah, but, but that's not if he not your nigga. Yeah, like but you don't feel like that's because I feel the same way. But you don't feel like that's like a little judgy. No, I don't feel like it's judgy. I just feel like it's my preference. I feel like you're judging somebody when you're looking down on them. Okay, and you're being rude about it. And you're being right. I don't, I don't look at you like oh you're disgusting or oh, you're because I'm just as nasty as you are because I did it. Because I did it. We on the right. same level, so I'm not looking down on you. I just don't prefer that for my boyfriend. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I don't think we're being judgy. I just think we have. Of a preference, yeah. Because being ju- if we were being judgy, we wouldn't even want to try it at all. No, that's true. Y'all, please let us know. Would you pay your boyfriend or your little fuck buddy or whatever? And fellas, want to know? And be honest, fellas. If y'all don't want to leave it in the comments, let us know in our DM. Like, would and we you, promise we gonna we're not gonna say anything. Just let us know. Would you get pegged? Okay. So or have gonna- you got pegged already? Hey, hey. Okay. So up next, we got the bop of the week, and um, this is like so I was, she, I'm gonna have yeah. you listen to the I'm album because she's been on her Kanye boycott. Mm. Me, I love Ye. Everybody who knows me, even my mom who knows me, Killer. Shout out to Killer. She knows. Shout I out to Killer. I used. To, I am the huge, hugest Kanye fan, but I just had to draw a line at somewhere. I was actually a bigger Kim Kardashian fan. My mom knows that, and Killer gets so mad at me how crazy I used to be about Kim. But I just had to draw the line somewhere, and I'm gonna just leave it at that. So go ahead. Like I said, she been boycotting our boy Ye. <laughs> but you know, I love Ye, and I love all of the different, you know what I mean, transitions that he's went through over the years. I feel like that's what life is about. It's about evolving, you know what I mean? And with him evolving, every album, I feel like he's a different Ye. Facts. This album, I did, I feel like it's okay. I'm not gonna lie. For me, it wasn't an album that I could listen to from start to finish. But, but from what I've heard, people saying it's like one of those albums you listen to once and you're like, okay, and then you just shut it. But then I've also, I mean, I've seen people say that as well, but then I've also seen people say that they feel like it's Kanye's best album, which I would definitely not agree with because to me, that's an insult to Kanye. For me, it's just not a great album, but he did have some good songs on it. And one song in particular, Violent Crimes, mm-hmm. is a really, really good song. I feel like it's something that you know all of us ladies should listen to it's a great song you know i feel like it's kanye acknowledging how he used to treat women when he was younger right and then after him having a daughter him seeing the importance of treating women right and he raising a young queen right now right you know what i mean shout out to kanye and all the other men who finally realized that women are human yeah because i feel like that's a pivotal point in life right but but unfortunately it takes them so for all you men out here who don't have daughters yet so you see how how men act now that have daughters please remember that women are humans and you shouldn't have to have a daughter to make to you realize that because you know whatever shout out to Kanye but you're still a dumbass the fact that it had to take you having a daughter but I don't want to say not him. All, all dumbass no, but, that's, but that's what I'm saying all men are that's why I say all men are 
are stupid, not not all men, because some men do treat women accordingly. But for the men out there who it took for you to have a daughter, for you to realize that we're humans with feelings and you just can't treat us like a piece of shit, and it took you however many years to have a daughter to realize that. Because now you don't want niggas treating your daughter exactly. like that. Exactly. But I'm gonna keep but it's going to happen. happen. It's going to happen because happen. karma is karma. And karma because is niggas real. are niggas. And niggas are niggas. Just like you was a nigga, North going to meet a nigga. Facts. Who was like little Kanye. Probably worse than you. So yeah, it's like that's life. But I do think it's a great song. I do think it's worth listening to. You know what I mean? To me, it's one of the better songs off the album. Yeah, anyway. So, so fuck him. Go ahead and give it a listen. Mm -hmm. that's so anyways, uh, we got the item of the week. Now, I think this is a little cute. Now, I will say this. I think it's cool because me and Dre like to sit by the pool and listen to music. Yeah, we do. We're not, Dre, well, Dre is not going to hook it up because I don't, I told her about, she don't trust, I don't trust stuff like this, but it's a good little Bluetooth speaker. And, and the great thing about she it, got it for free. I got it for free, I got it for the free 99. Hey. The five finger discount, no, I'm kidding, I ain't silly. But my building that I live in now, they gave it to me as like a moving gift. So yes, it's the Google Home. I definitely, you know, think it's a, it's a it's cool, cool game. And it sounds and so it's good. good. And you do have to buy it, it's yeah. like $50. And the music actually sounds really good on the speakers. Like, oh yeah, the speaker is really, really Works nice. really good. Yeah. So that's the item of the week. You don't have to hook it up and have it in your house to function with your phone and all that stuff. But you can definitely use it as a Bluetooth speaker. Yeah. So get lit and get live. And it's summertime, you know, y'all know we about to be chilling by the pool all oh, We know y'all see these tans. Yeah, hey, hey. Why we ain't got no makeup on today. We feeling ourselves. Yes, y'all, I'm about to get that tan yeah, off. And make sure y'all go to my Instagram and like my pictures and stuff. Hey, y'all, so this has been another episode of Wine Down Wednesday. We thank y'all so much for tuning in. Sorry about the lighting again. Yeah, we sorry. Uh, I know I said I was going to have one of y'all on the show today, but like I said, Drea just moved. And we're getting everything set we up. To get everything together. So I promise I am going, because a lot of y'all were DMing me. I promise I am going to have one of y'all on the show because I'm so excited. Because I want a male perspective. And y'all DM me too. Like, and feel free to DM me as well. Right. And then, then for the ladies, I know there's a lot of ladies out here who don't necessarily agree with the things that me and Dre said. We yeah, love the we, Me and Dre literally debate. debate all day long, okay? But we uh, love each other, so it's friendly debate. So it's if you always, come on the show, it's going to be the same. Be, don't be scared to speak your mind yeah. and come on through, okay? So it's your girl, Alex P. And Dre and Nicole. And we'll see y'all Friday. We got another video coming for y'all, okay? Bye, And make sure y'all go back on Sunday. Oh, and, look, and, and check out our whole bag video. And check out our whole bag video if y'all haven't done that already, okay? So we'll see y'all Friday. All right, bye, y'all. Bye.